Have you reached that moment where you have to explain Santa? Now, my oldest is 10 years old, so my daughter has had, let's call it the first talk, the easier talk of all talks that you have to give your kids. And my eight-year-old still believes in Santa. Probably this will be the last year he does. He's on that fringe of asking questions, but hasn't put it all together yet. And my six-year-old is still fully in on the secret of Santa. And it was a few years ago, well before I actually had to do the actual talk with my daughter, that I learned of a letter that was floating around on the internet, and I remembered this letter, and I used this letter to explain Santa, because it does it in a way that doesn't rob my kids of anything, and it actually incorporates an idea that allows them to get excited still, even with the kids that still do believe in Santa. So today in this episode, I want to read you that letter. I will also include a link in the show notes for a copy of this letter, so that way you can print it and do with what you would like as well. All right, here we go. You asked a very good question. Are you Santa? I know you have wanted the answer to this question for a long time, and I've had to give it a careful thought to just know what to say. The answer is no, I am not Santa. There is no one single Santa. I am the person who fills your stockings and presents though. I also choose and wrap the presents under the tree the same way my parents did for me and the same way his parents did for him. And you will do for your kids someday as well. This could never make any of us Santa though. Santa is lots of and lots of people who keep the spirit of Christmas alive. He lives in our hearts, not at the North Pole. Santa is the magic and love and spirit of giving to others. What he does is teach children to believe in something they can't see or touch. Throughout your life, you will need this capacity to believe in yourself, in your family, in your friends, and in God. You will need to be able to believe in things you can't measure or hold in your hands. Now that you know the secret of how it gets done of all those chimneys on Christmas Eve, he has help from all the people whose hearts he has filled with joy. With full hearts, people like me take our turns helping Santa do a job that would otherwise be impossible. So no, I am not Santa. Santa is love and magic and hope and happiness. I am on his team, and now you are too. I love you, and I always will, mom and dad. When I first did this with my daughter, I printed this out, and I actually had her read it first before I ever even explained what we were going to really talk about. And for never having done this before, I didn't know how it was going to end, and it initially went what appeared to be pretty bad because she started crying and got overwhelmed and sad. But if anything, it was almost the initial grief of losing was something that she believed in for so long and reconciling it. But the irony in this process, this letter and kids and life, is by the next day, she was completely on board. She now gets excited about hiding the elf. She is excited to be in on the secret and on Team Santa and helping the kids create this magic and pass it on that it incorporates this team effort that's not a, oh, you're a loser for believing in Santa or things that can happen in that category. It creates this connected feeling of what Christmas, just like the letter says, really is. So if you've struggled to explain Santa, this is your get out of jail free card. And I'd love to hear the feedback. How did this letter go? Let me know. Send me an email, ben at bencloy.com. Shoot me a direct message on Instagram at Ben underscore Colloy. I am always open and willing to have a conversation with anybody that ever wants to reach out. That's all I have for you today. How to explain Santa. Hope this helps. And remember, there's a link in the show notes for a document of this letter.